Okay, guys, I've learned a new way to make iced coffee from a friend of mine in Medicine Hat, Arland. Uh, what I do here is fill my coffee cup up, put it in the pot there to boil so I don't overfill my cup when I do the drip. I'm going to put in the larger one, I'm going to put some ice. And there's the ice there. And I have some whitener condensed milk condensed cream or whatever you call it it's uh, simply just whitener that's the trick of the whole thing okay so let's put the water in the pot to boil or get pretty hot anyway <clears throat> Sparker. I don't have any fluid in mine. It's just the spark at the end. Just a regular spark igniter. Works perfectly. Now fill up the big jug with ice. So I just picked up a little ice from McDonald's. I usually fill it up and then by the time I put the hot coffee in it, it uh, melts the ice a little bit. But even when it's finished, it's uh, there's still a lot of ice in it. So, Okay, that's the ice and we're waiting for the water to boil. Now, a little bit of condensed milk in the, I know it's probably too sweet for diabetics, but what the heck. You only get to do an ice drink every once in a while. An iced coffee there. So that's probably not enough. I'll end up putting more in, I think. But it's sweet and it whitens your coffee all, all in one shot. Does a good job. Now we'll just wait for the uh, water to boil. Okay, for the drip coffee. Open up a filter, put some coffee in. I like it nice and strong, so I'll put, I don't know, maybe three scoops of dark roast coffee in there. And then the hot water. And you know, I have the uh, condensed milk in the cup already. So I'll kind of give it a stir if I get one once I get a little bit of coffee in there. Wait for that to drip. And pour in the rest of the water. I know that I'm not gonna overfill the cup because I've put just enough water in and uh, I'm gonna put it in the black container once I uh, drip the coffee into the into the cup there now we'll just wait on that that looks like it's good just the last few drops to squeeze it out now like I said guys this is uh, how I make my iced coffee now I learned this from uh, Ireland and the first time I tried it it was great so I decided to start making it this way for myself the uh, condensed milk keeps a long time in the fridge. Okay, watch as I stir this up. It'll start turning cream color. Look at that. Nice and sweet already. And I, I know I'm going to put some more cream in there, some more uh, whitener. Uh, fill it up a little more. Now well, let's uh, uh, 
There it is. Don't mind the mess, guys. My new granite countertop from Ireland also. Set my camera down. And uh, let's just have a look at the condensed whitener. What I used, real thick stuff. <clears throat> All you cooks out there know what that is. Well, yeah, we're going to pour it into the uh, cup. I don't do a good job here at all. Half of it spilt out. <laughs> Got it all over the countertop. Great job there, Wayne. What do you know? A nice full glass. See, the, the ice doesn't really melt that much either. And uh, the coffee's cold already, so... Give it a taste. And, just like I said, needs more whitener. More sweetness. What the heck? Another scoop or two won't hurt. <laughs> hey, to all my viewers, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It means a lot. Like, share, comment. Um, I appreciate it. I answer them all. And please ring that bell to be notified of the next video. Another taste. Ah, much better, much better. And that is how I make iced coffee from now on. Thanks to Ireland. <laughs>